the suicide dip. Oh, that's a, okay. So uh, for the suicide dip, we're just going to show you first. So, ooh, I let go. All right, restart. So that's the suicide dip. Um, to explain it, we're going to start with a cuddle turn. So we cuddle in. Ooh, we love each other, cuddling. And we bump around. And then this space is again really important because we need the space to be able to pull her and create momentum. Okay, so when we when we pull her, um, the goal of this is that she really winds up tight into your arms. So we're gonna pull. Shwoop. You should actually be perpendicular to his shoulder, really. Yeah. Perpendicular. Yeah. So so she really gets into me, and then um, there are really two styles for doing this move. Um, the first sort of beginner way, which is how you should learn it, is you're gonna bump her into your left arm and then you're going to let go, and she's going to fall on the ground. And then, um, I, okay. So again, in this move, it's important to maintain your shoulder width apart um, as, as the edge of her head and, the, and your right shoulder, your, your uh, outside shoulder from the dip. Um, so when I, when I do the suicide dip, I, I lunge with her. You don't want to be like leaning over with your body. Because then she will fall, and then she will hate you. It's happened. Uh, I guess it has. Many times. Um, okay, so the other way to do it, um, it isn't in that, in that increments, um, well, I'll show you the increments once more, so we go inside turn, out. Hold on one second. So for those of you who are, are nervous with these lower dips, uh, something you can do to kind of just add a little extra stability to your dip is something we call lock wrists. So instead of holding hands like we've been doing, you actually slide your hands up to the wrist and you hold on there. That's right. And then, so we'll do it. This is the extra safe way. Um, so we're, I'm going to pull her into me, and then she'll be able to. She won't be able to get as perpendicular, but that's okay. Um, mostly perpendicular. And then, uh, so again, this is the way uh, with the increments. So we go bump, and then we let her go, and my 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 leg shifts to support her, and then I pull her back up, and she's out. Again, uh, okay. So then the other way is. Um, just uh, more quick and dirty. So the quick and dirty way is we do our inside turn, we go out, we lock wrists, we shoot in, and then we, I just send her all the way down, and then back up. Um, one other thing you, you might want to know about this move is um, we, we do it to make it kind of fancy, but the cuddle turn and the bump out aren't necessary. You could just do it from an inside turn. And then the other thing that I thought of while she was describing that is that um, the girl, um, so when we're dancing, what? The no, girl? I, I just said that. <laughs> the girl, um, or really both of you while you're dancing, should maintain the strong frame. So you want to have strong shoulders, strong, strong arms, so that when you, when you dance, um, there's structure and you can tell each other where to go. So the same thing is happening when you do moves. Um, so when she is being dipped, she's going to activate her core and she's going to lift up her leg. So if she doesn't do that, her butt will just hit the floor because... Uh, Let's show her. Yes. Okay. So she's going she's gonna to not activate her core, and her butt's just going to hit the floor. Okay. So she actually, she's the only person keeping her body uh, rigid. I, I have no control over her keeping her body rigid. So if you're going to do this move, the girl has to be ready to flex her abs and get that nice... Yep. Yeah, so... Pose. Like he was trying to describe, the leg is important. So when you do this dip, ladies, you want your you want your inside leg to be perpendicular with the floor. You want to bend your knees so it's like a 90 degree angle. So if we do it slow, 90 degrees, and your outside leg is straight. And my core is activated right now because if it wasn't, she'd be on the floor. Yep. Activate cores, shoulder width apart. Um, you can you can do it just for an inside turn. Uh, the other thing that I was thinking of, so this will be a long suicide dip video, uh, you can do suicide dips multiple times. So, um, okay, we're gonna do it, uh, you, I don't think, you can't really do this move with locked wrists, so we're gonna, not, we're gonna do it the more flashy way. Um, so, we'll, I'll just show it, all right. So we go, whoop, and then we can lift her up and do it the other side. And lift her up and do it the other side, <laughs> yeah. So part of that is that uh, just um, she has to have the 
bravery to just go down and know that I'm going to support her going down. Um, but, but it is also led by the guy because there's kind of this force and then the downward motion. Um, yep. Ladies, you have to turn. When you come up from the first dip, you actually have to turn so that your back faces his stomach and then keeps going so it faces the opposite wall. Yeah. Two seconds. We did it. Oh, sorry. <laughs>